are built by the female alone using grass and twigs. She then smears the inside with mud and presses down soft grass as a final touch. With a clutch size of three to five eggs. This sparrow appears to be harmlessly investigating the nest, perhaps to simplify the task of finding nest supplies of its own. Harmless as it may be, the female robin returns to make it known this nest is not vacant. The next opportunity seems prime for the sparrow, and the commitment to acquire some nest materials becomes clear. A subsequent return by the sparrow transforms into an awkward encounter. The female robin is calm, but makes it clear the sparrow is not welcome. The sparrow's plans are futile, and as such, it departs. Birds that have a primary diet of fruit and berries lay their eggs right away in the morning. Robins, however, eat a lot of earthworms, and the heat from the sun causes earthworms to crawl deep into the soil to cool off. Because of this, robins spend the early morning searching for worms when the soil temperature is at its lowest, and lay their eggs just before noon instead. Success. Eggs. Robins rotate their eggs so that warmth from their brood patch under their stomach is spread evenly. If too much heat is concentrated in one spot, the unborn robin may at juvenile hatchlings become older. The time has come for the... Watch the egg in the background as the female robin's pecking actions create a small hole in the shell. Once the outside of the shell is compromised, it's time to come out. For us, this means twins. The female feeds one of the hatchlings. Eventually, the female removes the shell from the nest. Robins like to keep a tidy nest, but removing the shell is also a threat prevention activity. Some predators can smell an open shell and invade a nest. The robin may fly the shell up to a mile away from the nest. Removing the shell, of course, in the robin's demeanor. This robin is taking a defense position. The noise you just heard was a crow landing on the deck railing. Crows are common predators to robins and are known for invading nests. The same is true for blue jays, grackles, and ravens. At this point, there's little that can be done. The actions of the crow cracked the remaining egg, which caused the hatchling to emerge. This is the last hope in this clutch of eggs. The female returns with a treat for the last hatchling, but the nest is now empty. With an empty nest, there's no reason to stay. Female Robin. It's very important not to draw attention to nests, as predators can watch for this. Just prior to this is cracked as a result of the earlier invasion. The incubation period had only just begun and this now creates a risk for the healthy egg. To save the final egg, the female's instincts tell her to remove the damaged egg. But rather, the fluid and portions of the developing robin inside the egg. While this is certainly grotesque according to human standards, the catbird's perspective is simply a matter of nutrients and survival.
It appears as though this even applies to the very species that laid the egg. Predators 2, Robins 0. Same. Any guesses as to who eventually takes ownership of the nest? The original robin, or perhaps this pair of finches? You might be as surprised as I was. Neither one. Look at that, a pristine white egg. Strangely enough, however, the very next day both the egg and the doves were gone, as quickly as they appeared. I then removed the nest.